worthy of every song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you Jesus, a name above every other name Jesus, the only one who could ever say Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you Oh, we live for you Holy, holy There is no one
My most favorite part of the retreat was uh, going out at night with Father Nick up to the cemetery up there, over there. And uh, we told scary stories and had a lot of good time up there. For me, my favorite moment was probably the adoration part. We, I think I got closer to God. Uh, thanks for all the, the support team and all that stuff. Uh, my favorite part of the retreat would have to be this morning when we went to go sing lods or do lods with the monks and the building over down there um, just because it's not something I usually do and it was my first time doing it and meanwhile I was singing with everyone else I just felt so peaceful and so relaxing. My favorite part of this retreat was the portion which we were discussing the uh, the definitions of agape. Uh, the reason being was because I feel that with um, a deeper understanding for what that term means, which is uh, uh, loving unconditionally, um, uh, it, it gives a deeper understanding to our faith as far as within Catholicism and uh, more than just the rituals itself of coming in and, and participating within the church and everything like that. It, it's, it's the underlying meaning behind who we are, loving thy neighbor, and doing it uh, relentlessly almost. My favorite part of this retreat is the um, singing and worshiping God here with the uh, young adult ministry. It was extremely beautiful um, to the point where, I, you know, tears came out. And also um, what I learned and I'm going to take with me is that God is love and no matter what or where you go, no matter the trials and tribulations you experience, just trust in God and, you know, God is God's love is always going to help you out in, no matter, in any situation. My favorite part of the retreat is just listening to all the inspiring testimonies that are really led by the Holy Spirit. 
And what I've learned this weekend is the importance of family, friendship, God, and what it is to really love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. My favorite part about this weekend so far has been definitely all the singing is just a different form of praise. And how they say, how they've been saying all weekend, it's pray twice. My favorite part about this retreat was learning from other people's mistakes and understanding what they went through wasn't easy. It's very complicated. I'm lucky enough to actually, you know, not have those experiences and be a bit more calm. And, but I do respect them and I do appreciate what they say, and what they go through. You know, they're opening up. It's not easy. You know, it's part of the journey. I, I really enjoy that the most, you know, learning from their mistakes so that I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't get to that extreme. My favorite part was just listening to everybody um, that's older than me, like, like getting to know their experiences and then explaining them in such a genuine way where I could actually relate to them. And of all the seminars that they gave us in the conference room, it's really eye-opening for us, like, being young and seeing them older and going through the stuff that um, they know that we're going to go through and then talking to them about it. And it was really, like, eye-opening and genuine of what they were saying and saying, not holding anything back, saying everything that they wanted to say and us learning was, it's just what I was really looking forward to and that's what I ended up getting. Um, any extra things was just a beautiful place here. Um, it's a little hot, but... Um, we went through it and uh, we got to climb up to the to the cemetery where the monks live. Um, we got to see the, the really nice statue with the with the with the little oval, yeah, the oval needle inside of it. And uh, all in all, it was just a, a really great experience that I actually really want to do again. My favorite thing about this retreat would probably have to be all the talks and their testimonies, just how they were so real and down to earth. It, it makes you feel like, like you're a part of it, you know? Some of these things maybe we've experienced, maybe we haven't, but just to hear them, listen to them speak and just be really real with us, it just makes a big impact in our lives. I really enjoyed all of the talks and the activities. I learned that there's actually three types of love and that encompasses God's love which is pretty much unconditional and uh, He loves us no matter what and what we have to do is accept that love. Um, one thing that I've learned a lot, or two things that I've learned this throughout this weekend is just to trust in God and everything will be okay. And I learned what agape meant. I've heard the word before but I never really knew what it meant until yesterday when Mike and Nicole gave their talk. The whole retreat, honestly, in, in, in general, was pretty much transforming in itself. The fact that we all took steps to drive out here, the fact that we took time out of our, our, our busy weekend, and were able to not only experience it with the, within a community of Christ-centered individuals, but also uh, we're led by the foundations of our faith with the Benedict, the Benedictine monks. Trans, transubstiation, substiation, um, and that's something that I was really never really sure of, but um, after this weekend it just makes a lot more sense and they put it into uh, different examples and I think that was one of the things that I feel more comfortable explaining to my friends that are not Catholic and as well as uh, my family that are Catholic and my friends that are Catholic.